Hi, my name is Karen. This is my 2006 Ford Econoline 150, and I've been camping in it off and on for four years, and I just love the outdoors. My husband made these door tables for me, and he made this one into a drop leaf so that I have a kitchen inside and outside. So, and then I have my coffee press and my kitchen utensils and these little bags up here hold kitchen utensils so that everything's right there where I need it. I love that. What's down here? That's the, where I put fuel mm -hmm. and fire extinguisher. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm cooking, it's handy. I haven't ever seen it done that way. That's great. What a great use of space. And it looks good too. And it's easy to use, I bet. inside or outside. And then the two back doors in the van, they're both drop leaf, so I can cook on the back or the front. And have that nice little stool to sit with if I want to sit there and eat or use a laptop, or if I had a laptop. Oh, so this, this stool goes, goes with right that? Goes there. Right. Yep. Okay. And the inside, the front seats both turn around. They swivel. And then I have the refrigerator. The Jackery powers the refrigerator. What kind of refrigerator do you have? What size? It's, it's an Alpacool, and I don't couldn't tell you what size, but you can run it as freezer or refrigerator. That's nice. But not both at the same time. Mm -hmm. so. And then the bed is just a Coleman cot mm -hmm. with memory foam on top, and it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then underneath, I have storage that pulls out. And then that one pulls out. And what all do you have in there? Oh, I have what, probably nothing that I need. So my next trip, I'm going to be unloading a lot of clutter. I um, have extra cookware, um, mostly extra cookware, a few canned goods. And then I, in the back, I have a food box. It's got lots of canned goods in it. And then I put my jackery down there when I'm traveling because I have two jackeries. Mm -hmm. And it goes under the bed. And then I use bungees to hold it back. So. And then this is my porta potty. Uh huh. That's a real porta potty, too. Isn't it's it? a real, the real McCoy. A flusher. Yes. And then I keep the stove back here. But this I use as a table. And then I can just move the tray over to the bed mm -hmm. and use it and then put the tray back. And I have a golden retriever in the kennel back here. Mercy, let's go. Come on, Mercy, stand up. Come on, Mercy, up. Up, there you go, baby dog. <laughs> That's my girl. Yeah, she's such a sweetheart. She's so smart. She's, she's a very calm. therapy dog. A, a registered therapy dog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She visits hospitals, and she does kids' art camp. And she loves a cookie. So cookie. <laughs> She's more interested in you. Yeah. I okay. see you. I see you. I do. I see you. What a face. I use that. I pull a curtain back if I don't want to use the, the covers for the back doors. Mm -hmm. It gives me something to clip the fans onto so I can put a fan anywhere. But if you have wet towels or some clothes you want to hang for any reason. And then the cargo nets hold a lot of the clutter that are on each side. Cargo nets. And it's good to use the vertical space, not mm -hmm. just the floor. Yes. I see you've got a table here. And when this door is shut, I can cook from the inside. That's very So nice. when I wake up in the morning, I can go to the bathroom and I can make myself a cup of coffee without leaving the van. Nice. You've got storage under your floor even. Mm-hmm. And I put this pad, because my dog has difficulty getting in and out because she had surgery. And then she can step up on that and get on in. Nice. I love your color scheme there. It's very outdoorsy. It kind of has a, I don't know, it has a feeling of a... I don't know, a cabin or something. Yeah. yeah, I like it. And you've got uh, curtains so that you don't, oh, you do have some like uh, 
window covers. Window covers. I do. I like to have the curtain so that I can have view. I can open it up and I can have view. So do you use both? You have the window covers and the curtains? Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you have a choice there. Yeah. Very and then nice. I have the ARB awning up here, mm -hmm. which gives a lot of space, but it takes two people to put it out, and I can't do it by myself. Mm -hmm. And you can get it on Amazon. And then that this part is the roof air conditioner that's, that's hanging down right there. Oh, I, how did I not so notice that? That's special. I have 30 amp outlet, and then there's two 110s plugs on the wall where I can plug into 110. Do those, those come off the car, or does it have a, a house battery? The air conditioner runs off of shore power. Okay. But the jackeries can run off of the car or solar power. Or shore. Or shore. Solar panels. Well, you've got it fixed up really nice and cozy. That looks so comfortable. Back here we have storage. These tables go, you just take this off. My husband is very good with carpentry, even though he's not a carpenter. And then I can cook back here, as well as up front. So depending on how you have to park, you would have a choice of, of where you wanted to cook from. Nice. Okay, where I see you see us again. Dog. And so what all do you have back here? We have food, food. water. Extra water, mm -hmm. lots of food, more camp chairs in case somebody needs one. And then this is a cook set that I use back here. It's condensed and it's small, so I don't have to take what's up there and bring it back here. Mm -hmm. I can just cook right out of this one. Mm -hmm. And then there's a tackle box on the bottom which has overflow kitchen stuff in it, as well as condiments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. I think people could just watch that all day. Yeah. I could. <laughs> she's, she's. And that's the rooftop air. And it's well worth it in Florida. Yeah, I'm sure. I know it is. Well, thank you for your tour. You're very welcome. How'd you like it being here at the... I loved it. Have you been to other meetups? No, this is the first one. All right. But I love the atmosphere. The people are absolutely friendly, warm. Everybody speaks and says hi and willing to show their rigs. Mm -hmm. And I find it very interesting to see the variety of what's here and how simple you can go camping. This is, to me, is elaborate, but I have a minivan that I actually prefer. <laughs> it's, it's very compact. I have the minimalist in it, and it's easy to go and nice to drive. Mm -hmm. And... Um, the facilities here are wonderful. How yeah. much do you camp? Do you camp a lot now? I know you've been doing it for quite a while, but mm -hmm. um, do you, how much of your time do you spend out in the out in the world? <laughs> not not very much. This really? is a real treat for me to get to oh, come. Good. My husband's health is a mm -hmm. deterrent. He's a little older than I am, mm -hmm. a little so it holds me back some. But he was very happy for me to get to come to this meet, and I've been very happy to be here. Well, I'm so glad you're here too, really. This is great. Okay. And I love your little house and your baby there. Thank you, Jerry.